One of the biggest complaints you see thrown around in the Minecraft community is the game's current difficulty. Many believe in recent years Minecraft has simply just become too easy, and a large portion of the challenge has been removed from the base survival experience. I bring this up because in a recent snapshot from Minecraft 1.21, a new feature was introduced called the Bad Omen Effect, and I think with a bit of tweaking, this new effect could be the solution we've been longing to see for Minecraft's difficulty problem. So what exactly is this bad omen effect? Why is it such a big deal? Well, let's talk about it. So for those of you asking, what exactly is the bad omen effect and how does it work? Well, let me explain. To put it simply, the bad omen effect is a status effect that increases the difficulty of certain dungeons and combat challenges by spawning in larger quantities of mobs. The bad omen effect can be obtained by drinking an ominous bottle and will turn into a different effect like raid omen or trial omen depending on where it's used. These bottles are dropped when killing raid captains that spawn in your world or found at pillager outpost. They can also be dropped as loot from a vault in a trial chamber. This ominous bottle has five separate levels with each level having a different length until the status runs out. Level 1 lasts about an hour while level 5 lasts an hour and 40 minutes. However, this won't really matter that much as long as you drink the bottle directly before intending to use it. You can currently use these bottles in only two scenarios, one being villager raids as this is now how you have to activate a raid, and two would be in the trial chambers which turns the trial spawners into ominous spawners and increases the amount of mobs that spawn. When the trial spawners are under the bad omen effect, they then have the chance to drop a key for an ominous vault, which will contain more rewarding loot such as a small chance of getting a trident or a heavy core to craft a mace. So basically, the ominous bottle is a potion that can be drank to willingly increase the difficulty of a trial chamber or a raid. And just to be clear, the ominous bottle cannot be brewed or reused. So why could this feature be such a big deal? Well, although it's currently only applicable to two situations, it has massive potential for the rest of Minecraft's dungeons and structures. People constantly complain about the declining difficulty found with modern Minecraft updates, and this could be a perfect solution. The ominous bottle should be made to be used at all of Minecraft's major dungeons. To do this, they would need to replace the chests and spawners with the new trial vaults and trial spawners, which to some people could be controversial, but personally, I'm all for it. The only prominent structures I believe should be left alone are the Deep Dark's ancient cities and your simple basic dungeon. This is for two reasons. Replacing normal dungeon spawners with trial spawners would ruin the ability to build XP grinders, which would undoubtedly cause a huge uproar in the community. And the ancient cities can't really have an increase in difficulty as the warden is already so powerful and mobs aren't supposed to spawn there. You could argue spawning mobs with the ominous bottle in ancient cities would be a fun challenge, but I don't think it would really work, as the focus in the ancient city is to be stealthy, not to engage in combat. But the ominous effect should be applicable basically everywhere else, for structures like bastions, end cities, woodland mansions, underground mine shafts, hell, maybe even make it applicable to boss fights. I know I didn't mention structures like the sand temple or the guardian temple, and that's simply because mobs either don't spawn there, or the system would just be more of an annoyance there. For example, dealing with underwater vaults wouldn't be fun, as your loot would end up floating all over. They could find a way to better implement it with structures like this, so take what I said with a grain of salt. I also left out pillager outposts as these structures are where you can obtain ominous bottles, so having them be able to undergo these effects just doesn't really make sense to me. I think the bad omen effect is better suited for the larger structures with more loot. All right, guys, I just want to take a quick 10 second pause in the video to remind you that liking this video is completely free. And if you're really enjoying it, make sure to click subscribe so you never miss out on another video just like this. You did it? Great. Back to the video. The increase in difficulty for these dungeons would be great for more experienced and late game players who are looking for a new challenge. Rewarding players for completing a harder structure would give players a huge incentive to take on these riskier challenges and go out in search of these structures for the first time in ages. The best part about this feature though is the fact that it's completely optional. You don't have to increase the difficulty if you don't want to, meaning it's up to you on how you want to approach the structures in game. This could also just provide more late game content for players as well, allowing them to take on structures again in hopes of better rewards. As for what the rewards are, it could be dicey if you have too many items gate 
keep behind ominous vault as then it would no longer be optional if you wanted to obtain that item i think all of the already existing structures in minecraft should just do something along the lines of increasing the quantity of loot you get and maybe giving you the chance to get tools and armor with higher level and better enchantments mojang should save the features unique to the ominous vault in newer structures as seen with the heavy core a feature that is intentionally designed to be very rare exclusive loot like this should be saved for the late game structures so when they finally do something like an end update i'm sure they'll probably add a new structure this would be the perfect place to implement it i'm sure that going forward mojang is going to use the trial spawner and vault system for structure loot will they retouch the old structures I really can't be sure, as changing existing features can often result in fairly mixed feelings. But personally, I would love it, and I think it's honestly kind of necessary. I think the vault key system is a really fun way to approach structures, and I think the trial chambers are probably the most fun structure to go through in the game. Besides increasing the amount of structures that can undergo the bad omen effect, I think they should spice up the difficulty for them even a little more. Things as simple as spawning mobs with armor more frequently and mobs with unique potion effects would definitely go a long way towards increasing the challenge levels and also just diversifying the combat and gameplay flow. The new mob potion effects are a really great idea, and I think they should be seen pretty frequently in ominous trials. Trials. They could even bring back the illusioner in structures like woodland mansions and raids. Maybe you could apply the bad omen effect to the ender dragon fight, increasing its health and damage, but in return it drops even more XP when killed. I would love to see it get some new attack patterns, but like stated previously, if they wanted to apply this to already existing features, they really can't change it up too much without completely overhauling the structure or the challenge. Although things like the dragon fight are in desperate need of an overhaul, this should remain fairly similar until they decide to fully approach an update based around that aspect of the game. There are so many possibilities on ways to improve structures with this effect, and I just barely scraped the surface. The bad omen effect has so much potential to improve upon already existing structures, and allowing for them to be implemented to the new structures is gonna make for a much smoother experience. I do believe that over time, we will slowly see the bad omen effect become applicable to more than just the trial chambers and raids. There's no reason for them to go back and change the raids in an update that is completely focused around something else. So I think this is a pretty set in stone sign that they are going to revisit some older structures. Will it be in 1.21? Probably not. It's unlikely due to the update nearing the end of its development cycle, but hey, you never know. The bad omen effect really is the perfect way to approach an increase in difficulty for Minecraft, as they did the increase in difficulty in a way that is completely optional and you get to choose when to activate it, which makes it a challenge that you want to do not something that just happens and you have to deal with, which I think is the perfect way to implement it. I really can't wait to see how this feature is used in the future, but all of what I said is just my opinion. What do you think about the ominous bottle and trial chambers? Would you like to see it implemented into already existing structures or just be saved for future structures? I would love to continue this conversation, so let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. If you guys did gain any value from this video or enjoy it whatsoever, a like is great appreciated and if you really enjoyed the video subscribing ensures you never miss out on another video just like this it's also completely free i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it and let me know what topics you want to see me cover in the future i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one